Hello, in this video I'm going to review some Excel tricks for trying to solve for things like the fraction of molecules in the vehicles 1 level compared to the vehicle 0 level using the equation 18, and then later we'll get into calculating the fraction in higher rotational states using equation 20. So we're going to deal with this first part for HF, HCL, CO. We're going to use the fundamental vibrational frequency that you found back a couple pages, um, and equation 4, we're actually, I don't think really need equation form, but we're going to solve for the fraction of molecules in the vehicle's one level compared to the vehicle's zero level at 10, 100, 300, and 1,000 Kelvin with um, equation 18 up here. Okay, so the main idea is the fundamental vibrational frequency is the difference of energy between the vehicle's one and the vehicle's zero level in wave numbers. We can easily use that along with the Boltzmann's constant from the front of our packet in wave numbers per Kelvin. Of course, there's a value of the Boltzmann's constant in joules per Kelvin. Uh, if you multiply by Avogadro's number, you actually get then the joules per mole Kelvin of um, uh, the ideal gas constant is what you would get if you multiply this number by Avogadro's number. But we're going to use the wave numbers per Kelvin because that's a really easy way to solve for the fraction in V equals 1. So in Excel, we're going to do 10, 100, 300, 1,000 Kelvin. Let's just make up a fundamental vibrational frequency of about 3,000 wave numbers, and then we'll solve for the fraction in each level, EXP minus our vibrational frequency divided by Boltzmann's constant, 695035 wave numbers per Kelvin times the temperature. parentheses, and then there it is. Tiny fraction at 10 Kelvin. So then we can mostly copy over, but of course this isn't going to exactly work on first try because our A2 is going to copy over and not necessarily the temperature. So if we want to lock 3,000 wave numbers in and not change, just put dollar signs in front of the A and the 2. So dollar sign A, dollar sign 2. Then when we copy over, that cell will remain 3,000. So we're taking the same fundamental vibrational frequency and dividing by kV times the new temperature. So slightly more fraction at 100, larger fraction at 300, even larger at 1,000. You see it's never more than 1% even at 1,000 Kelvin, and it's a very small fraction even at room temperature. In a subsequent video I'll work on the rotational constant determinations.